So guys, it looks like the favorite to face Anthony Joshua is Andy Ruiz Jr. Um, if I'm honest with you, it's not a fight that I'm hugely excited about if it gets made. Um, but obviously, it's no fault of Hearn and um, Joshua. They can only pick what's the best opponent out there or what, what they can get because they're in a desperate situation where they need to pick, a, they need to finalize an opponent. And nobody seems to be coming to the table. Now, they've offered Luis Ortiz the fight. Ortiz doesn't want to take it. Many people are speculating, is he on the juice? Is it because of the money? Personally, I think $5 million is more than enough money for Luis Ortiz. I feel like there's other reasons that uh, the suspicious reasons why he's not taking the fight. In terms of Andy Ruiz Jr., he comes to fight. He's a good fighter. He's got fast hands. He doesn't look great physically. He's in a, in, not in a great condition, but... He definitely will come to fight. It's not a fight, like I said, I'm hugely excited about because I believe Joshua will, plat, uh, will beat him. Uh, he gave Parker a good fight. Many people thought that, you know, he, he was unlucky to get the nod against Parker. But uh, against Joshua, Joshua is a completely different beast. He's a massive animal. He, he works very hard. And he's just going to destroy Andy Ruiz. Um, I don't... Pff, like I said, I think Anthony Joshua's... A very very special talent and I think he needs to be tested and I don't believe Andy Ruiz is going to be able to test Joshua and, and I don't think it's a competitive fight I'm, I'm not saying Gerald Miller was a competitive fight Gerald Miller was somebody that he was going into the unknown and that's why he was juiced up to the head because you know he was not confident in his skills to beat Joshua fairly on an even playing field so that's why he was doing what he was doing um, really Joshua needs to be fighting guys like Luis Ortiz guys like that but they don't want to come to the table you know, fair enough, Wilder. We know Wilder, Fury uh, are tied up. Luis Ortiz is the other top elite guy. Now, Joshua's beaten Povetkin. Who else is there out there? Dillian White, but the money's not right. It's just, it's, it's all a mess at the minute. It's all a mess. And Andy Ruiz is probably the next best they can pick. Now, him, Michael Hunter, they're all of a similar level. They're not great, great heavyweights. They're decent fighters that are not going to really... Ch I don't see them beating Joshua. Now, in the heavyweight division, it only takes one punch, but... Really, you, you know, Andy Ruiz Jr. is not beating Anthony Joshua. It's not, it's not going to happen, I don't think. So, it's, 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 it's a bit of a... It leaves a bit of a bad taste in your mouth because it's not a fight that you're hugely excited about. It's not a 50-50 fight. It's not a close fight. It's a fight that you see Joshua winning easy, but it's not their fault as well. What do they, where do they get their opponent from? Where can they, you know... Luis Ortiz, they offered him. He was the next best thing, which people would have been excited about. But Luis Ortiz doesn't want to come to the table. So it's not Joshua's fault. Joshua can only pick the guys that want to fight him. And Luis Ortiz is not one of them, um, unfortunately. You know, they're making excuses about the money. But we know it's not about the money. It's about, it's about something else. Uh, and Eddie Earn's looking to expose him next, next week. But yeah, guys, leave your thoughts. What do you guys make of Anthony Joshua potentially fighting Andy Ruiz? Do you like this fight? Don't you like this fight? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.